Hi, here's another video showing how you can create nested shapes using Inkscape. This time I'm going to use tile clones. Now to save some time I'm just going to pinch one of these shapes and delete the rest. In this video I'm going to start with my smaller shape. And you may notice that for once I'm actually working with a stroke line and no fill. I'll explain the reason why towards the end of this video. So I've got my shape. The next step is to go edit, clone, create tiled clones. Now symmetry, I'm going to leave it P1, simple translation, shift, at shift X I'm going to change it to minus 100. By changing this to minus 100 it means the nested shapes will all be central to each other. So if, if we get to change this, it doesn't really matter. It just means they won't be stacked neatly on top of each other. You will still get shapes, but they will be just spread horizontally. Now to make nested shapes, we need to make each one of these a little bit larger. To do that, I'll open the Scale tab. And I'm only going to work on the columns. So Scale X, I might change to 20. See, I've got the percentage symbol here, so I know this is going to be 20% larger. And I must change scale Y to match. I will do a quick example towards the end to show what you can do when you set these differently. Now, rows and columns, I'm leaving it at 1 because I want them all to stack on top of each other. And for the video, I might just change this to 10. And now I'll click on Create. Now we've got some nested shapes. Now if I decide I need more, I need less, I don't want them to be as widely spaced, I can still make alterations. So let's just come and change these to 10. So I'll change them both to 10%. All I have to do after changes is click on Create. So once you're happy with the look of your nested shapes, you don't need this box anymore, so we'll just close it. You can see at the moment that we've got a dashed box around one of them. The one that is selected is the original. All these others are clones, but at the moment they're linked. And before I can do anything else, I must unlink them. One of the easiest ways is to delete the original. Now if you've clicked elsewhere in the meantime and you don't know where the original is, the other way to do it is just select all of them. Then up here on the toolbar there's an icon with a padlock that's open. If you just click on that, it will unlink them all. And there you have it, you've got a set of nested shapes. Now I'll just show you the reason why I'm working in a stroke and not a fill. I'll just select the larger one and I'll give it some colour. You can see they're in the reverse order. So if you want to have them look nested shapes, different colours, you're going to have to come along and change the order of them. So let's just make this lighter raise it to the top, then I can bring it over, select the next largest one, change colour, raise it to the top, select the next one, change the colour, raise it to the top, bring it. As you can see it really won't take long to turn around and change the order of these and add some colour so it looks pretty on your screen. This method of creating nested shapes is really good for complicated type designs because you don't get the distortion. I said I was just going to give one more example showing the settings different. So what I'll do for that, so you can see quite clearly what I'm doing, I'll just draw a circle. Let's just turn the fill off. So now I'll go Edit, Clone, Create Tile Clones. Before I continue, I'm just going to hit the Reset button. That means any settings I've put in any of these tabs are now back to default. So symmetry, P1, simple translation. Shift, this time I'm not going to change to minus 100. I'll just leave it as it is. Scale, I'm going to make these different. So I'll make 110%, 120%. Let's hit create. You can see what happens. Because these are different, it's actually changing the shape. So we're graduating larger from a circle to an oval.
In shift, why I didn't make it minus 100 is so I could see more clearly what I'm doing. Same as before, the one that is selected as the original will just delete it so they're all unlinked. Start changing the colour. Raise that, change the colour. So you get the general idea. Now to make that look a little bit better, let's just turn the stroke off. You can see we've now got graduated, but the shape is changing slightly along the way. So if you do create designs and then you want a whole series of different sizes, you might like to try tile clones and make your own nested shapes. And for more ideas on creating files for your cutter using Inkscape, visit my blog at cuttingtime.blogspot.com. Thank you.